This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Benjamin Netanyahu calls for a new approach to peace with the Palestinians. Mahmoud Abbas demands an Israeli halt of settlement building and house demolitions. Will Obama be able to reignite peace negotiations? And is the two-state solution dead? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas are heading to Washington for talks on the future of the peace process. Netanyahu is scheduled to visit Washington on May 17th, and Abbas is heading to the U.S. on May 28th for talks with U.S. President Barack Obama, whom many Arabs are pinning hopes on for forcing Israel to implement previous peace agreements. In the Middle East, we share the goal of a lasting peace between Israel and its neighbors. And let me be clear, the United States strongly supports the goal of two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and security. For the past 10 years, the two-state solution has been the mantra of the United States and most countries involved in bringing a lasting peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. But now, Netanyahu is calling for what he says is a fresh approach to peace with the Palestinians. And the fresh approach that I suggest is pursuing a triple track towards peace between Israel and the Palestinians. A political track, a security track, an economic track. Said the Prime Minister via satellite to the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee annual conference in Washington. Mr. Netanyahu made no mention of a two-state solution. All the nice words that he could say will not change the real fact and the fact that with this policy, Israel is destroying the potential for the Palestinian state and Israel is destroying the potential for peace based on two-state solution. In reality, the two-state option has been dead for a long time, and with all fairness, it was not killed by Mr. Netanyahu. Several Israeli governments have contributed to its demise, including those who pretended to seek it the most, such as the last government of Ehud Olmert and the Kadima party. Israel has succeeded in creating facts on the ground with about 290,000 settlers living in the West Bank and another 185,000 settlers in East Jerusalem. It is increasingly hard to imagine Israel evicting nearly half a million people or about 7% of its population from their homes. So what will Prime Minister Netanyahu offer in terms of peace? Mr. Netanyahu is coming to Washington to yell, Iran, Iran, and not Palestine. Something significant is happening today in the Middle East, Netanyahu continued to tell the adoring crowd at the APAC conference by video link. For the first time in my lifetime, I believe for the first time in a century, Arabs and Jews see a common danger. Translation, forget about Palestine. Earlier, Mr. Netanyahu had thrown the recognition of Israel as a Jewish state as a precondition to the resumption of peace negotiations. But now it seems that he has changed his tone. We're prepared to resume peace negotiations without any delay and without any preconditions. The sooner the better. What did he really mean? Netanyahu was advised by President Shimon Peres, who has recently been in the United States on a Hasbara tour or a PR tour, to soften his hawkish tone before meeting with Obama. Meanwhile, Mahmoud Abbas still dreams of a two-state solution. We will go to Washington on May 28 to talk with the U.S. administration about our conditions to resume peace negotiations with Israel in the future. Our conditions and demands are based on the two-state solution and Israel's halt of settlement building as well as house demolitions, Abbas said after a meeting with Jordan's King Abdullah II. Translation, we will go to Washington to beg Obama for a solution. Mahmoud Abbas's term as president expired in January. Negotiations with Hamas have stalled. His son has been recently exposed in Arab media as making millions of dollars out of USAID contracts. His popularity in the Palestinian territories is at an all-time low. Meanwhile, 
there is a realization amongst Palestinians residing in the West Bank and East Jerusalem that their dream of a state of their own has all but disappeared. More Palestinians have been vocal about a binational state that provides full democratic rights for citizens of all ethnic and religious backgrounds. A movement that began amongst Palestinians with Israeli citizenship is now making its way to East Jerusalem and to the West Bank. It is called Musawa, which means equality. Perhaps this is what Abbas should be talking about with Obama. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir. You can also read my blog on the Huffington Post. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.